LA. This month is typically when we see the most tornadoes of basically any month all year. And for that reason, many people living in Tornado Alley aren't too keen on the month of May. But for storm chasers, it's a different story. And Weather Channel reporter Jorma Duran spent the day with the storm team throughout the day in Altus, Oklahoma. And with that, Jorma, how did it go? Uh, it went pretty well, and you're right. Earlier today, we caught up with the storm chasing crew from KOCO Television in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, to kind of get a sense of what it would be like. And what we found out was, despite heading into an area where severe weather is supposed to be in, you still need a little luck. On the road, looking for severe weather. And we also run a chat program to where I... What KOCO uh, Television photographer day. Rob Hedrick does for a living but wow, how the hunt for tornadoes has changed. Back when I started chasing 15 years ago, I had to call someone on the phone, call them up, see what, what they could get for me because the idea of having a laptop in your car connected to the internet was unheard of. I mean, you couldn't do it. Now Rob can look at satellite images, get information from the Storm Prediction Center, even talk to other storm chasers in the field instantly. The camera comes out when clouds seem a bit unstable or wicked, but Rob says for the most part, for every day of capturing severe weather, you get five days of chasing nothing at all. It's probably more likely that you're going to go out and see a, a good sunset or a cloudy day and get nothing than the possibility of seeing tornadoes. Which seems to be the case this afternoon. Altus, Oklahoma wasn't as bad as first predicted. They just dropped the moderate risk, which, you know, is a little bit of a disappointment. It's good for the people, bad for the storm chasers. Rob says during the month of May, he'll be doing this pretty much every day, looking for severe weather. Back to you guys. All right, Jerome, again, you mentioned, you know, uh, bad for storm chasing, but good for the people. It's definitely kind of a fine line that we walk, even here at the Weather Channel. We enjoy talking about weather, but we're also concerned about people's safety. It's probably much better not to have an active weather night, but not the best thing for your story. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Nobody wants to see a tornado. Storm chasers love the thrill, but of course, no one wants devastation. Paul? All right. Jorma Duran reporting for us tonight. Thank you very much, Jorma. We'll catch up with you again the next half hour.